made it to the Bikers Roundup in Perry, Virginia. I already know what you're thinking. Perry, Virginia? Yeah, I was definitely in Perry, Georgia, but we just gonna blame it on the fact that I had a really hot ride the day before and my brain was mush. Matter of fact, let's run this back so y'all can just see. So I left out around 8 o'clock that morning. The sun was still rising. It was a beautiful morning, not too hot, vibing to the music, listening to that gospel, getting my spirits together. It was just an amazing start. But as the temperature started to rise throughout that morning, my brain started to melt. <laughs> For real. So at this point, it's probably about 95 degrees. And for any of y'all who have ridden in really, really hot weather, which I'm pretty sure is most of y'all, you know that that helmet can feel like a sauna. Okay, it gets hot up in there and you have to stop, you have to hydrate, you have to do what you got to do to make sure that you are healthy and safe on that road in that heat. So one of the things I did other than that was lift up that modular because baby I needed that air. But of course it still wasn't hot enough for me not to stop and get my state line pictures. Look up Marlon, say cheese. All right, so at this point, I'm about an hour away from the hotel, getting close, getting cool, sun's going down. And as I'm checking into the hotel, who do I run into? One of my subscriber friends. So he was gracious enough to take me to the roundup the next day, him and his friend Quick, and they gave me the guidance I needed as a newbie at the roundup. So meet quick. Y'all hear that music? It's not mine. That's Mr. Winfield, who I call Mr. KW. You'll meet him a little later in the video. Without these two, I would have definitely gotten lost trying to get to where I needed to go on these fairgrounds. It was much bigger than what I expected it to be. But you can see the RVs, you can see the tents, you can see the bikes, you can see the people. And we're just navigating up to the front where all the main events and the vendors were. But peep the family reunion vibes, waving at people as you ride by. That's what I'm talking about. Couldn't come to a biker's rally and not interview somebody with a back camera. Oh, look at that thing. This is Mr. Winfield, and I ride a 2011 Kawasaki Vaquero. So can you tell me a little bit about the mods that you put on this? Uh, well, I put the boiler tool back using the factory Kawasaki backrest. I had it modified, cut and welded. I have the Grasshopper Limited, Unlimited, Backrest, Roaring Toys Intake, with the Performance Machine matching my 21 inch front wheel, Toys, 12 inch tape hanger, Avion grips, I have the Ivan Tools, I have a Power Commander 5, there's the Dino, the next windshield, 9 inch shield on it, with some cards on it, which I have. I have DS18 speakers, I have the DS18 6.5 ZTE 8 Pro in the dash, ZTE Pro 6.5 mid, I have a Kenwood 8 inch. Pro two ways in the bag with a DS18 3000 uh, four channel class B amplifier. The all in one eliminator tail light with the signal brake light in it. Uh, yeah. Lights, bars on the side to run and brake at night. How long did it take you to get here? It took us eight, eight hours. It eight hours. like 3.30. 
We had Thursday morning. We was here at the campground for about 12. Wow. He came from Louisiana, My name so that's Byron means... Alexander. Everyone called me quick. The club legend. From the Louisiana Territory, Baton Rouge. All right, so what is this you're riding today? Well, this is a 2015 103 Road Glide original, original equipment. All originals, there's no mods on this bike. This bike has 9,000 miles on it, all highway miles. The future for this bike is to stay this way and look like this 20 years from now. And what made you choose this particular bike? Like, why would somebody want to buy this one? My first Harley was a uh, street glide. Real comfortable bike, but I found out this road glide handles better than a street glide. It's a nice bike to ride. It has a good pickup for a 103. It's a fast bike and under riding condition is very comfortable. It's one of the best bikes you can ride whether you're a man or a lady. Any advice for any new riders out there? Well, for new riders, spend some time by yourself riding before you ride with a group. Get a chance to learn your bike and learn the road. Follow all the safety rules and pay attention to everything. All details are important. Use your inner, your inner thoughts and your inner spirit to understand that in any time on this road, something could go wrong. Always try to think ahead of the time, or ahead of what's going on you, with you or with your bike, and always be safe. So the three of us went our separate ways, but first, Quick and KW had to give me that last piece of guidance. Most of the guys with the, I'm gonna say with the real clean bikes and stuff, this is where you're gonna see a lot of them. Like when we were coming in, that area. Of course you go back in that dungeon, there's some alcohol. <laughs> Okay. He's going to throw in dirt on you. He's giving me a bike dust back there. You're going to get dirty. They're giving me a tour of the area because this you can get lost in here. Okay. Well, thank y'all. All right. So they've got vendors out here. And I'm about to spend too much money. But I'm on the bike, so I can't spend too much money. <laughs> um, but I'm about to buy a couple of shirts. And then walk around and see what's happening around here. But I ain't gonna be out here too long because me and 90 degree weather do not get along. And the lie detector determined that that was a lie because I was out there for the rest of the afternoon. It was too fun, I didn't wanna leave. So I was talking to a friend about this. Like, what do they do out there? Like, he was like, basically they just camp. This is bikers who camp out. And he was not lying. Like, they are literally camping out. And I'm all the way here for it. Like, I'm coming next year with the tent. <laughs> Mark my words, okay? I'm, I'm camping. They have everything you could possibly need to camp out. So you got the bathrooms right there. There's an ice, not ice cream. There's an ice place. You can get bags of ice. Um, they got food, concessions. Like, you sit out here, it's just hot. And that was pretty much my day. For the rest of the day, I chilled, I hung out, I made new friends, and I had a great time. One of the best events ever. I highly, highly recommend it. And that's it, y'all. As always, thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for riding with me. Until next time for the next ride. And in the words of my friend, KW. I'll see you one day at the roundup. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs>